Like a lot of Canadians, I have a pile of these under my kitchen sink from every time I've gone to the grocery store. But with the federal government's move to ban the import and creation of single-use plastics, one local grocer tells me he's happy the rest of the country is catching up. You know, we have been programmed since the 50s to show up at the store with your car keys and your wallet and everything will be taken. There will be a, a, a bag boy to carry it out to the car, put it in your trunk for you. And the owner of this organic grocery store tells me society is finally starting to think differently about how they shop for food. His store made the move to ditch single-use plastics in 2019. Happy the government will require the same across the country, saying it's not just the bags that are wreaking havoc on the environment, but the shipping to get them there. We, as citizens, haven't taken the responsibility to, to step up and do it, so the government has to step in and say, hey, you know, we're going to do this. The same thing they did with helmets uh, on motorcycles, the same thing they did with uh, seat belts. The federal government will ban Canadian companies from importing or making single-use plastics by the end of this year. A ban on selling comes next year, and a ban on exporting single-use plastics in Canada starts in 2025. The city of Edmonton making its own moves to ban the use of single-use plastics. The city's data saying Edmontonians throw out 1.2 million single-use plastic items per day. The city's bylaw would include money to help businesses adapt. Edmonton's mayor tells media Monday reducing waste matters to Edmontonians. During the campaign uh, we heard from a lot of people that what is the use of having uh, single-use items that end up in the landfill or uh, end up in a river in, in, a, in our ravine system and uh, in, into a river valley. In Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.